Hello my Sock Universe, last review for the weekend and we'll talk of course about the Premier League. I decided to keep the Premier League last not only because it was the biggest game in there but mainly because I wanted tomorrow whatever background I live next will stay and I said okay let's keep the, uh, some English teams up there for a change because most of the time it's Spain now it was a lot of France so yeah you go. Boy this was a weekend uh, where I think these guys here showed who are the real um, title favorites and they are probably facing the toughest week in football at the moment and they might actually win all three of them if they continue such a performance. Just to give you, the, uh, it started for Manchester City, you had Chelsea away, you play well, today when we're, we're, we're shooting, you're playing, playing PSG away and then you play Liverpool away. Boy is that a gauntlet and boy did you start this impressively. Um, I have to say, again, if they keep that performance up that they showed against Chelsea, I think they can easily win the other two games as well. But you know, games have to be played. I don't want to uh, count them early. Um, we also had quite some uh, controversy at Old Trafford a little bit. Wouldn't be something out if we had a, probably one of the best games of the season. And we had a North London derby that I don't know if it delivered. And amongst all the craziness, we almost, almost had a surprise leader. Was more. Run through the games. I made every effort to watch Chelsea Man City, although the kick of time was just not my time, but you know, I watched it. It almost, I, I, I don't say it unfolded as I expected, I expected a lot more even game, but I didn't expect it to be a great game. Um, a, too much is on the line, it's early, early in the season, both probably would have been content with the draw. So, um, I was not expecting like a goal fest and that's exactly what it turned out. What I did not expect is that uh, Man City stifled uh, Chelsea, who started with the uh, three pivot midfield, so with Conte that they used against Spurs. And yeah, that was the wrong choice. And Tuchel afterwards uh, said, yeah, I did it wrong. I probably set up too defensively and yeah, uh, also having Timo Werner and Lukaku up front, I thought it was an interesting choice. Uh, and I saw, you know, I'm not as down on Werner as most other people are, uh, but I'm not a big fan of his either. But I saw that, uh, you know, with his work rate, if he just can get a goal, you, you know, I'm kidding with that, you don't get goals out of Werner. However, uh, Werner, I should say. But you do get a whole lot of contributions that uh, might end up in assists or uh, pulling other people out of, out, out of position. However, um, as I said, I don't think a Chelsea had a shot on goal. They may have had a teeny little chance when it was already 1-0. Uh, the goal by Jesus, yeah, was not a pretty, pretty goal, but it was more than deserved. And City uh, looking pretty, pretty uh, special at this point. Um, did not, of course, see because I saw that. That came uh, Miami and Aston Villa, where Villa actually got a very late goal. And But the big story is that... Um, you know, in the week, uh, Sorsha has actually complained that they're not getting re uh, pens anymore ever since Klopp said something like that. Well, of course, they were getting a penalty. However, the drama that unfolded there when uh, Emi Martinez, the Villa goalkeeper, kind of kind of yelled at Ronaldo, you know, I want you to take it, I want you to take it, come on, be a man, you take it, and Bruno Fernandes takes it. I'm not sure if that uh, whole... Uh, situation didn't unsettle a little bit Fernand, who then skies it over the bar. Mm. So yeah, uh, Villa get their first win at Old Trafford in ages and actually uh, also the team that has the best change, so they're the number one, uh, that uh, was the best result for them. Actually, I have to say I like the top row here, this is very English and very unusual jersey cars that I don't think you find outside of the English game all that much. Um, West Ham get a win at Leeds United. Leeds United starting to worry me as do Leicester. I think Leicester also have a really rough time getting it going. Brentford Liverpool. That was the that was probably the best game. Uh, back and forth, three three goals. Uh, very very open. I am getting more and more behind Brentford. I already said it. I like their approach. This statistical money ball uh, thing. 
and yeah i actually wished him well and i have to say because of that probably i a brentford jersey should come my way sometime soonish uh brentford took the lead through pinnock there uh at that point it was deserved but um liverpool and the ram ranked up in their weird yellow jerseys uh diego jota got an equalizer then salah actually gives them the lead f after half um janelt german guy uh can equal as short shot f and then a really great job by Curtis jones gives liverpool the lead again uh and you think liverpool is cruising but no nope. visa gives them an equalizer thrilling game as thrilling and as breathless as there. Southampton, mm, oh, I'm not sure. Hasnitl uh, is losing it a little bit, but you know, also they had a lot of losses over the season, so gotta see. Uh, there's really not much I can tell you about Arsenal Spurs. I mean, Spurs is now, now where we had Arsenal about a month ago, where we all said, oh, Arsenal is so bad, Arsenal is so bad. Arsenal got it together, uh, got two hard fought wins, and now a very impressive one in North London Derby over Spurs. And Spurs looks in tatters. I have given them a pass for the big loss at Crystal Palace because they had so many people still out, but ever since, doesn't look good. Uh, what were they doing? Smith Rowe, Aubameyang, and Saka were the 34th minute headed. Uh, Spurs being not present, I mean, uh, Son. Pulling one back, I think both North London teams are becoming non-entities in the English game at the moment. And then, of course, I did not see it, but I want to mention it. If Brighton would have won their game against Crystal Palace and they had to come from behind to earn a draw, uh, so a penalty just before the half and then a very, very, very deep stoppage time winner. Ah, winner. Equalizer. Uh, saved Brighton, but if they would have won that game, Brighton would have been top of the league. Uh, that everything that was going wrong last season for them is going right now. They are just scoring, scoring goals, and maybe Brighton. Uh, let's see if they can keep it up. Well, that would definitely be a fun thing. Uh, just as for games for the next week, I mean, it's all about Liverpool, Man City on Sunday. I think there are again quite a few interesting games uh, this coming uh, weekend. Um, I do I see Manchester United Everton, you know, we have again like they do it in Spain where we also have both Madrid teams like playing against Spain teams, we have the same thing here uh, where both Manchester United teams, uh, Manchester teams play both Liverpool teams, that I get it out uh, and yeah, I have no thing that really sticks out all that much but you know that might change when I get to it. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Seska is coming very soon. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and drop a line below if you want to add anything to what I said. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.